Welcome everyone, my name is Ryan O'Doherty, I'm the Head of Product Development at CMC Markets and this video is a brief introduction into the new features of the mobile trading app. Our first one is the login page has been redesigned. We've made a number of enhancements to the login process. Uh, the first one is simpler design, first when you put in your login details. We've also got fingerprint or face ID if it's available on your phone. And we've also removed the demo and live buttons from this login screen so just to get in. If you've previously logged into a live account, it would just automatically load you back on, onto that live account. If you've previously logged into demo account, you have a live account, uh, it will bring up an account selection icon and you just choose the to uh, log into. Uh, for those for the live account, if you want to get back to the demo, uh, there's a switch account feature which I'll uh, show you once you're logged into the app. Um, so first thing you'll do is click on the submit button and this will log you into your default home screen. One of the features that we've also built in is a number of these nudges just to help you uh, identify a number of the new features that are available through the app. The first one that you'll probably know haven't already set up a, uh, an unlock method like swipe ID is to set up a new unlock method. So let's uh, set that up now. The first thing you'll notice is that there's the three different unlock methods at the top of the screen. So there's the traditional manual login uh, by entering your password. There's the swipe code, which we currently supported. But we've also got their touch ID. And as I mentioned before, if your phone does support face ID, it will work in the same method. Let's click on the touch ID. Now, if you don't have Touch ID set up on your phone, uh, it will provide you with to set that up. But if you do, then it will then be your default login process to get into the trading apps. So swipe ID. Um, so if you've already got this set up, one of the other elements that you'll notice is under the swipe code and also Touch ID is this new lock app timer feature. You can have it so that you always need to put in your identification details when logging in. But when you navigate away from the platform, let's say to look at an email or to get a phone call or have a look at an SMS, you can set it up to 10 minutes uh, that the platform will stay logged in in the background. And so let's set it up as 10 minutes. And what that means is that I don't need to put in my swipe code or touch ID authentication for up to 10 minutes. But if you do want to always have that available for added security, you can have it always set as always. So there's the main features of the login process. It should provide you with a much quicker process to get into the apps. The next feature that I want to talk about is the new dashboard screen. It is, in a way, uh, another menu system. So we still have the traditional menu that you're used to. But one of the options under the trading header is dashboard. And this is basically a way to give you a bit of a shot of your trading account in one screen. So you can see the positions at the top of the screen. You can see my popular products uh, watch list is available there. I've got some insight stories, any market calendar events, uh, any countdowns or digital 100s. Um, and then your orders and all the details are available in this new dashboard screen. Now this is completely customizable. So if I wanted to, I click on the edit button in the top right hand corner of the screen and it goes into edit mode, tap on one of the modules. Now I can resize that by using this bar on the right hand side and I can make that bigger or smaller. I can also delete that one if I wanted to and I've removed that from the dashboard. And so I can really customize by moving these modules up or down within the uh, the hierarchy of the dashboard and if you want to move it back again just drag and drop similar to uh, what you're probably used to on mobile phones once you're done click on done and you've now designed your own unique type of layout now if you want to add tiles back in again click on the edit button in the top right hand corner it might be slightly different for an android device or an ipad etc but there'll be an edit option available on the screen in the top left hand corner of the screen you've got the plus icon this will show you all the different tiles that you can add onto the screen. Now we just removed positions, so let's tap on that to bring it back up. The watch list tile, you can have multiple watch lists on your dashboard. So all the other tiles are just singular, uh, but under the watch list tab, I can add multiple watch lists to my dashboard. So I've tapped on that again, click on done, and you can see that they've been added to the top of the screen. I'll just edit that to resize them. Now with the watch list, uh, it comes up empty to start with. If I tap on the uh, watch list selection there, it then loads all the different watch lists that I have set up. Uh, so let's say I want to have a look at the major FX pairs. I click on that and then we just loaded my major FX pairs 
in there. And again, I can scroll through those. Uh, I can have, scroll through my positions view to view more information. Now, each of the tiles, uh, you can go directly to the traditional view that you're used to. So if I wanted to go and have a look at the major effects pairs watch list, the traditional view, I just click on the tile uh, header on the left, and that takes me through to the view that you're fairly used to. If I go back and I actually go through here and I, let's say I wanted to do a trade on Euro dollar, all I need to do is click on the buy price and it will immediately bring up order ticket. The positions tile, it shows you the top 10 P&L positions on your account. If you click on one of these, it will take you through to the traditional view and make sure that position you tap is top of the screen. Click again uh, to go back in the top left. So you can start to see that you can start to move away from the traditional menu system and move on this new dashboard style menu uh, that gives you a lot more information and can be customized to suit your own unique trading uh, requirements. So there's the dashboard. Uh, it's a, a fantastic tool. Definitely have a setup. Uh, if you have any questions, again, you can call our client service who will be able to help you.